Tegan here. I am behind the scenes at the MyCleco studio today to give you a little look-see at our 3D print farm. If you have ever wondered what goes into running a 3D print farm or you wanted to have a look at how our polymer clay cutters are made, then stick around because I am going to be sharing that with you today. Working at my Clayco is always a bit of a mix of creativity and problem solving. I know that we normally show you the more creative side of the business, but today I am going to be sharing with you how we slice up our prints, how our cutters are printed, the maintenance that goes on behind the scenes, and I guess just a bit more of an operational look at how things work. All right, we have prints on the printer from the previous day, so let's go get them off. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I get the prints off of the bed. Uh, this is one of our print beds here and as you can see they're um, well and truly stuck to the print bed which is what we want to see and all I'm going to do is I essentially just bend the plate and you can see that they just bounce off of there. All right let's get these other couple off. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but um, there is an ever so slight lifting of the sunflower cutter here. Um, and that normally indicates to us that we just need to wash the print bed. I know that that might sound a little bit weird, but basically it just gets rid of any dust or oils or anything that is on the plate and gives it a bit of a refresh so that the prints stick properly. There are a few other reasons why that may occur, but our first go-to thing is to wash the bed. From there, if it doesn't fix it, then it's just a bit of problem solving to work out what the issue might actually be. Now, the last print that I am gonna show you here that I'm taking off is a not so nice print. Um, as you can see here, the walls of the cutter have not printed correctly. Um, and this is likely because we have a partially clogged nozzle. So that is something that we are gonna be dealing with shortly. Okay, all of the prints are off of the print beds and now it's time to put on our prints from the previous night's orders. We probably run a little bit different to some other cutter makers in that we don't have a heap of pre-printed stock. Uh, we do pre-print some of our more popular cutters, but ultimately I think we've got probably like around a thousand designs or something now and they all come in like six to ten different sizes. So uh, it would be really challenging to keep all of them in stock. So instead what we do is we print cutters to order and that means that basically we can always have all of our cutters in stock and it also means less waste, which is awesome. So we use Prusa Slicer here and basically what the slicing software does is it takes our cutter files that we've designed and it applies the printer settings that we want to them. So we can tell it the temps that we wanna use, the layer height, the nozzle size that we're using, whether it needs supports, as well as a bunch of other things. So I'm gonna get into it now and do up these prints. Okay, let's pop all of these prints on.
Now, of course, keeping our 3D print farm running smoothly means that we do have to do some routine maintenance on them. I have Lady here who is due, probably overdue for her routine maintenance, so I'm gonna get that done today. You may have noticed that all of our printers have names and that is just because we find every printer is kind of different in their own way. They've all got different settings. I feel like they have their own personalities and nuances and it just means that when we are talking about the printers as a team, we know exactly which printer we're talking about. So it might be Lady needs her routine maintenance or Bob's been printing a little bit weird or Princess Leia needs a nozzle change. I think it's nice to give them their little names. Obviously, it makes it a bit easier for us to identify them, but also they work so hard and it's kind of nice to include them as part of the team. So a basic routine maintenance means giving the printer a bit of a clean, re-greasing all of the rods and checking the belt tension. We do also sometimes wash the beds to give them a little bit of a refresh as you saw earlier, but normally this is something that we kind of do as we go when we notice prints starting to lift up rather than part of the whole routine maintenance thing. Okay, so Lady is all sorted. Now it's time to deal with Bob and his clogged nozzle. Okay, so normally I would just go ahead and change the nozzle on Bob, but today I am going to be doing an upgrade of his hot end. All of the printers in our print farm, I've slowly been upgrading them to this different hot end. One of the main reasons being that it's really easy to change the nozzles on them. You don't need to heat them up first. So it means for the team that it's a simple process of unscrewing them and re-screwing them in and there's no chance of anybody getting burnt. And that is a day in the life at our 3D print farm. If you have enjoyed my video today, we would love you to drop a comment below and let us know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.